very very oh, very yes. difficult to come by um, late day. so uh, most times if we start streaming five minutes it's already over so just very tired so but it's fine let's just let's just um, get on with it don't worry so i've started recording it but you understand what we did so far now yes sir yes sir don't worry whenever you have any questions i would really i would even prefer that you try and you don't get it and you keep finding out why it's not working than when you you know kind of just code along with the class you will learn faster the other way around so let's do this so you can see we have this wave so let me just copy this waves div and append it under this one again so let me do this so i'll put it under this section let's see how that flows so we have it here so i will change the color to the color of that this one this color i'll change it to this one this color i'll change the color of that you understand what i mean by the waves right we generated the waves together if you remember Yes. Uh, I don't, I don't, this wave, this um, curve, that um, is here, this curve. Use wave generator. That is um, getwaves.io. This site. So you could generate all of these patterns from here and download it if you want. So you could generate mm -hmm. different kind of patterns. So that's how we're able to generate this shape. Do you get it? I remember we're yes, using so. a negative margin. If not, it won't work very well for us. So we are using a negative margin. You see, we are using margin top of minus 20 pixels. That's what's keeping it on the body of this. So you can see it looks very similar to what we have in what we are working with, right? Looks very similar. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me just, I will just copy this other part again and paste it down there since they look very similar. I mean this part. We already have that, so I will replace this with it. Hmm? So that, is, that is this part so let me just come down here and let me create another section let me say this section is accordion because the component that is in there is called an accordion you, you know this component where you have a um, what's it called all these frequently asked questions that you can easily collapse and so on let me come back so what i mean by an accordion is this stuff let's go to bootstrap components so an accordion is what you have here when you have something like this hmm? so that's good and so i think this is an accordion but it's not actually an accordion but let's just use an accordion instead so you'll be getting to learn about that new component so we have this now. So underneath that, let's just um, we create another row. Hold oh, on. Let me put it. Let me make this one a container. And then put the accordion. So let me not put a container here. So let's bring this down. And then du.colon md4, which is what you'll be using most of the time. So we have this now. So I'll just come here and copy an accordion, an accordion. So which is this? So let me just copy it. Which is this entire thing? Not this entire thing. The one inside of this first code block, this first one, is what I copied. So you click on, you can click on this button here to copy it. So I've copied it. So let me just come in here and paste it here. And let's see what that looks like for us. So you can see what it looks like for us here. Eh? Yes, so you can easily modify it to make it look whichever way you want. So that's an accordion for, you know. So we have one of it. So let's just reduce it to the bare minimum. And um, you know, going forward, you can look at more in-depth stuff on how to really modify these bootstrap classes. But I'm just trying to show you how to really start using it as fast as possible. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So let's um, let's come down here because each one of these class names have their significance, which we don't. We are not actually looking at at the moment. But we 
will always have time to look at all of those codes. So you can see now we have several accordions, you know, split that into different rows and columns. Does that make sense? And you can see they are all closing at the same time. Can you see that? <coughs> eh? It is because of this. Okay. Um, it's because they have the same ID. So we need to be able to change the ID. You get the point. Hmm? So when I change the ID of that first one, you, you can't, uh, which one is that one? Not the first, I didn't actually change the ID of the first one. So this is the first one up here. Hmm? So this is the one with that ID. So everyone that shared that same ID, it's going to, you know, they all share the same ID because in JavaScript, it is by that ID you are actually targeting them. So since they are, you know, they share a similar ID, yeah, and when you make a change to one, or when you click on one, it affects all of them. Do you get? Yes. So that's the issue that we are facing. So let me just um, reduce the number that we have and then, you know, modify the class name. So let's say this one, accordion, accordion three. And let's say this one is accordion two. I just keep it that way. But why are they all open together at the same time? It's because of the ID. Let me just reduce. Let me reduce them and let me just get to reduce them and because they share the same ID. Like you can see, they are not open together now. So in order for it, for us to be able to have it the perfect way, we have to modify the ID of each one of them. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. <laughs> so if I be, if I want to create a, a new one, like a new row now, I have to kind of create different. Let me come down here. Let me collapse the first one. Just follow me closely. So I would have to do maybe like modify this one to be accordion two, accordion two, eh? And then for this other head in one, or anyone that has an ID, they shouldn't share the same ID. So if this one says collapse one. You have to say collapse one, two. Wherever you see an ID, you have to actually modify that. If not, it's going to affect each other the same way. You get so you can see they are not opening together anymore. Okay, this one still opens the other one. So this one still opens down, and that means there will be a similarity in their ID name. So let's just take a look at it again. So we have um, this one. So let's try and name them carefully. Let's say uh, four. Let's name this one three. Then let's name this one one, and then this one um, two. So you can see when you close one, it affects three. When I close three, three is not actually getting close, but it's being affected by you know. So when when I close two, four is closing. So it's because of the idea. If you look at it very well, so let's take a look at one and make sure it has. Uh, let's make sure it has a unique ID. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. accordion example, accordion example. So that's for one. So I think um, this class name is actually very crucial. So let's not do that. So so we have collapse one, collapse two. So let's start tweaking it from the very first one. So I would... Um, I would say accordion adding one, accordion adding to collapse one. So adding one, we do we this and this are bound together. So, and then this data toggle too. You know, it's another attribute that JavaScript uses to target these stuff. So you have to make sure that we are not messing anything up. So let's let me look at the documentation to actually see when they have more than one to see what they did. So you can see here they have heading one, ID one. Here they have heading two, they have heading three here. And yeah, so that's it. So they have one, two, three. 
and then um, for the accordion collapse what they have so they have data parent so the data parent is the one with this id of accordion example which is this one so i want to look at the one that they actually have more than one um, okay they don't have one here but let's just take a look at it let's just try to sort it from here so this is heading one accordion example so that is this first accordion example so here is going to be accordion example two that's what we are supposed to have so heading two so there's every high and um, there's a high probability that whenever we trigger this it might not work but let's just see how that works So you can see this one affects the other one as well, but this three isn't actually collapsing. So let's try and see why that is not collapsing. So it could be because of this. So let's change this to um, four. So we change three to four. So you can see three works without okay works now but it still affects one they are closing together so mm, okay so according example two is the parent heading one heading four then um, collapse one as a matter of fact i think to make things easier let me first of all you know let's get rid of the second pair let's just leave it one one uh, let's let's leave one at a time for now if that makes sense yes sir yes yeah, so let me remove the second one the second pair so let's let's keep it one at a time so let's keep one element in each column so let's do it this way so we have to be able to separate the two of them so at the moment and let me just add a lot of br under this so that we can see what we are doing okay so they are closing together now so our goal is to ensure that they are not closing together so one of the um primary triggers of this is the fact that and let me just remove this let me keep it the way it was initially okay so one of the primary triggers the things that you might want to look out for are the you know possible identifiers inside of javascript how are they selecting this particular Hello? element? Hello, sir. Yeah. Sorry, please, I'll be calling you. I don't know. My mic is smooth. Under the section, the closer tag section, you put a PR, PR, the broken tags. Why is it under? No, just to create space so that we can see what we are doing. Nothing serious. Hello? It's just to create space. Space as well. Sorry, please. So that we can be able to scroll and see under this stuff, I will remove it. I will remove it later. Okay, okay. It's not in um, nothing serious. So let's change all of the IDs because we change the IDs and change the um, what's it called. So when I change this to, I add one here. Let me add one in front of all of the identifiers and let's see. So you can see that's not working. So okay, I think um, I I added something I haven't removed. So that should be this and this. Okay. For the rest of. Let me take a look at that again. So for the according, as a matter of fact, let me just try and 
let me try and get this again since we are we are not actually doing everything from the scratch so i think i probably must have messed something up so let me just try and get this again you know and paste that in so So we have to tell what are the distinction between each one of them before we start, you know, modifying them. So we have accordion example, you know. So for the first one, so the first one, we have the data parent, that is the parent, the parent of this particular accordion item, which is this one. The parent is this other accordion item. And then the parent of this other one is also that one. So let's get the third one and let me remove the third one just to have just two left there. So we have just two. So primarily, so I want to be able to do that. I will add one more under this one. And let's see what's going to happen when I add one more. I'll add one more and I want to change this from two to three. I also want to change this from two to three. So whatever I see the instance of two, I want to change it to three. Okay, that works now. So I think um, the next idea now is to change increment. I think what we need to do is just to increment them. So let me change this as well. Okay. So let me try and copy this guy here. Let me get this one and paste it inside of the next row. And these things can be very messy sometimes. Just that you have to be very sure of what you're doing. So, so let's let's try and modify this one. So I will call this one accordion example two, and I I I, I hope that works out. So I'll call it accordion example four. And wherever I see one here, let me just um, so let's see if that works out. So you see, okay, it okay, works out. So that's working out. So what we just need to do? Do you get what I just did, guys? So it's not, it's not that straightforward, honestly. Huh? Hello. So I don't. I don't really. I don't really get it. Okay. So. So I don't really understand. It, but uh, why the way you're explaining is something I need to just go back to watch. I think I, it's uh, a bit straightforward, right? Going okay. back to watch it really. So, so just I don't know. Okay. The challenge here is when you are using a like a framework like this, you have to actually know that frameworks are opinionated, and what that means is that there's a specific way you have to apply them if they must work. Does that make sense? So that's, that's your primary goal. Your primary goal is to know how to apply or implement what it is you want to implement in a framework. So being a while since I used this, that's why there was a lot, um, a little bit of, you know, back and forth while we are trying to sort this one out. So, but here's the thing. You will have a parent accordion, um, you know, class, which is this div that contains every other thing. You get it. So inside of each one, you will have an accordion item. So this is one accordion item. This is another accordion item. This is another accordion item. Does that make sense? So inside each accordion item, you will now have your H2 with a button inside. And that's this button, the button that, you know, that you are clicking to expand each one. Does that make sense? Then you also have a div inside of that accordion item, which, which contains the contents. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, by JavaScript, the way we are able to target, um, you know, each one of them to know which one to expand at every point in time 
is by giving them unique IDs. Do you get it? So if the ID is not unique, let's say this one has an ID of one, this one also has an ID of one. What JavaScript does is, when you click on this one, it will try to do document or get element by ID, the one that has the ID of one, and try to expand that one. So there is, if there's more than one with the ID of one, it will expand both of them. Does that make sense? Hello. Mm -hmm. So Sorry. that's why that's why I had to you know make sure that they are not similar. That is, I had to modify the IDs and, and you know, um, ID and then every other similar attribute they share that I know JavaScript might be using. I don't know each one of them. So let me copy the next one again. Let's do something similar to that one. So for the accordion item, we already know we have an accordion item with the heading four, right? So we don't want to use heading four anymore. The next one is supposed to be heading five. Does that make sense? If we use the one, if we use heading four for that one, when you expand this one, you can see it's not expanding any other one, just expanding that one. But let's say we didn't change it to heading five. See what is going to happen. When we expand this one, you see both of them will expand. Can you see both of them will expand and collapse at the same time? Do you get it? Yes, so we have to make sure that each one of them has a unique ID. So if each one of them is having a unique ID, then it won't affect the next one. Does that make sense? Okay. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, let me copy just one small. And then what we get down what? We set the um, ID to six, right? Instead of five, we make it six. So that's how you use and whatever you need to, uh, you know, give a unique ID or, you know, identify in Bootstrap. Um, or while you're working with Bootstrap Framework, that's how you actually sort them out. If not, you won't be able to make the most of it. If you just keep, like, you remember when we were clicking one, it was clicking like seven others at the same time. Do you get it? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so you just have to number them by yourself. So let's create a third one, a third row, right? A third column. And you will see that for this third column now it's going to be more like a disaster because whenever we click on one it's going to click on every every uh, you know one has one. yes it's going to kind of you see that both of them can you see that they're actually closing at the same time because they share similar ids so what we need to do on the third one is just to come here and you know modify this one so the next one remember the last one was six right mm, so, so this just one has seven. To be seven 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 yeah Abba, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. So sorry for joining me late. I just got home. No problem. So we have eight, right? Then we have nine. Isn't that? And the last time I actually did this was sometime in 2018. This stuff I'm showing you now. I remember I went through this hassle back then, like everything was just so mixed up. But it took a while to figure it out. Hmm? Okay, so so the next thing, okay. I can't even tell which one is our own. Okay. So we have one of this now, right? So the next thing to do now is, I think what's the next thing on after this? So the next thing to do after this accordion section is to kind of do something similar to this, right? So you could just copy that and paste it there. Hmm? Hello? Yes, sir, I'm following. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't like copy and paste? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so let's let's just add that waiver as well, like right. Let's add that wave under our hero section. So there's a wave a wave and section. So we add that again under this particular section. And the accordion section is actually very long. So. Put it in. So let me remove the BR, BR, BR. We don't actually need it anymore. Okay. So
so you can see it's covering our accordion so i think we don't need to put the negative margin here <coughs> maybe we don't need to put it here yet let's just kind of get rid of it because it's covering, it's covering our elements so i think it's fine now and the reason why this is opening by default is because i think um there's a class name on it that is opening it by default so but that that's not really an issue so let's just go on so there's this stuff there so let's um let's get this other section which is this um section where we have the blocks initially so that's going to be this landing section so let's copy this so i'll just put it under here and let's see how that comes out so you can see that that we still have that waves right we, we still have the wave hmm? right hello thank you yeah so that's that section this one so we can just modify this one to customizable so we just um, say customizable instead of landing page no instead of 12 demo we say customizable then after customizable, we are supposed to say, okay, I'm actually mixing it up. Okay, header examples. So instead of landing page, we say header examples, right? And then we'll copy this one. So that's this, right? Okay, so we now have this section. Hmm? So it's still very similar to this one. So I'll just get this one. I'm just so tired. So let me just let me get rid of this beer. So the next thing we need to get now is um we need to get um, this documentation, so it's just a plain, you know, header. And let's let's just write this out. Let's not copy and paste this one. Let's just write it out. So under this one, we need another waves. You know, we need another. So we need this. We need to get this waves that is under the landing pages. So where's the landing pages? That's under hero section. So this is the one we need, right? We need to get this one. No, not this one. We need to get this one. If you are not clear, this, let me know. We need that wave that has this, that, the other color. So that is this one. We need this. So that's what I'm trying to get. So let's create another section with the container. So let's say section.container. And say div.row. Div. You know, um, offset. Offset what? Two. Dot color md8 dot offset so sorry if i may ask why we what's the meaning of offset or okay. it's like i forgot i get the column md but the offset okay you know um we have 12 um columns in total yes yes so yes. we want to put something in this column that is we mm. want to be just eight columns wide but we want to mm. be able to because if we just say column md8 it is going to take eight columns wide and it's going to be on the left side. So what we are doing is we are adding two empty columns on either side. So that we are okay. going to offset yeah. two columns to the left and offset two columns to the right. Two so that it can be to right, so. To 12, so that it can be, you know, equal to 12. Do you get it? Yes. Right. Okay. So that's the idea. So let me just copy this. It's, it's, it's more like we are doing a line center. Exactly. But you know, this is mm -hmm. the yeah. layout. Okay. So let me just. Play okay, so it's just like it's taking the space for two by the left, taking the space for two by the other, and the entire text is taking the whole of eight. Eight, eight columns, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I've taken what I shouldn't take here 
let me get rid of this as well so that's it so i'm just trying to place this the fastest way possible so let's because um so let's let me get documentation i know what we are still going to do more um bootstrap related stuff i just can't wait to finish this particular one so i'll do this so that's what we have here what's that hope i'm not hope, hope i'm pasting it in the correct place oh jesus i'm actually in the wrong place wow it's supposed to replace the landing page yes i was supposed to what i was supposed to get i was supposed to replace the last one the, the, the thing, button. yeah so i was supposed to do this here i was affecting this one before so let me remove these 12 demos we don't have it so that is this guy here so i'll remove that so let's let's now do this you should now we are going to do this by now right we just need a row right then three columns a row then column md4 yeah so under this particular row we need to create a row under it so div dot row mr kingsley and triumph are these guys still here yes sir column md4 yeah so we have this very big text then we have you know a you know a bold text then we have a paragraph underneath it so we can just you know use an h1 so what you want to do is you might want to put maybe another div inside of this, but it's fine. We might not we might not use that. And you know that Bootstrap also has something similar to Font Awesome. They call it you know Bootstrap icons. So we'll see how to use that later. So but for now let's just keep this one. So we here we have seventy plus, seventy plus, and under seventy plus let's just have like another you know let's say H five. H four. And under H4, let's just say custom extended components. And we can use them. Um, so let's say we have paragraph P. So you can see that now, right? So what we could do here, we could just add, we could put all of this inside another div, but let me just add text center here. That is bootstrap text center to align everything here to the center. Can you see that? Mm. So for this H1, let's add a class of text muted. And that's going to make the text faint. Can you see that? It's no longer. Okay. So for the paragraph as well, I think we need to do the same. Add a class of text. Text muted. So that's going to make it faint as well. Mm -hmm. So let's just copy and paste this two more times. Mm -hmm. Then under the the top row, which is this one, let's just do MB four. So let's do MB five. Mm -hmm. So we add another white waves right under it. So I'm looking for the white one. Okay, this is a white one. You know, I know it is a white one. It is this fill, FFF. That's white. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want to put it under down because that's what they have here. So to make this shape again underneath here. So let's just put that under here. Okay, it's already there. So let's look for a gray section, which is a, 
something like similar to this landing section which has this gray background so i'll just copy this landing section i will remove every everything inside of it so i'll put it under here so i want to remove all of the columns inside of it because that's supposed to be our footer section <coughs> Because you know that this one is a is a pro class for you guys, so, so it's no. <laughs> that's why I'm not taking that to explain a lot of things. Stop! So, I thought we are serious. I thought we are supposed to want another button. button. Underneath this text, yeah, there's a button there. Eh, uh, wow, which one? Okay, that's true. Okay, thank you. So um, that's not supposed to be much of a problem. We can just um, come down here. Sixteen, bridge by my. Yeah, we can just come here and do div dot row maybe and do dot div dot column md twelve. Then we'll do put a button inside of it and do bg btn. So, but if you do twelve, is it not going to take the whole page? I yeah, thought nah. we were going to use the offsets and the offsets mm, offset. It doesn't offset. matter since it doesn't need to share with any other one, and then we can easily put a button in the middle. Okay. Since it's just one element, you get. Okay. PTN primary. So what is your idea? View documentation there. Okay. So our what's it called? Our this thing is selling us out. So let me just remove this um, guy as well. So, so let's give it the so let's give it the name. Okay. So let's put this in a div actually to, to make our lives easier. We put it in a div and give that div d flex. Nuclear flex. Sorry. Okay. So you can see that now. Okay. So we can just give this um a empty right magenta yes okay let's see five so that should be fine hmm? of course when you want to do yes you you make it nicer than that so let's let's remove them from the footer section now so let's remove this row that contains this whole stuff we don't need it so that is this particular row so we remove this row we remove that one and then Wow. Why are the guys doing this stuff? So all you just need to do for this one is we have how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, right? Yes. So it looks like this one is bigger. So we can give them um, two, 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 then four. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. No column. MD four. So what's inside that text? S B U I blah 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 blah. And I won't do this actually, I'll just leave it there. So let's do the other ones. So this is going to be div dot column M D two. So this is going to be okay, let, let me just go with that. It makes it work faster.
So you can see now that we have something very similar. So you just need to update it. And you can see how fast we are able to achieve all of this. Just by you know leveraging the and the bootstrap and layout. Does that make sense? Yes. And most yes. times what I just use bootstrap for for the most part is just this row and column stuff because it really helps to do that easily. You get the point? Without having to struggle much. Hmm? It really helps. Because most of the things you'll be doing is just to divide space on your screen. Like, and you want to be able to, you know, style your own element by yourself as much as you can. Like, your colors and your stuff should be dependent on you for a, to a great extent. And you want to use Bootstrap for things like layout, responsiveness, and so on. So that's why, you know, I would always recommend that you have a good knowledge of how things work before you even start thinking of using Bootstrap. And we need to start this guy here. The reason why we are, this is behaving like this is because what we have we have them um, you are not supposed to be putting a container inside any other element like this it's it's a scene in um <laughs> it's a scene in bootstrap you are not supposed to do this your container is supposed to be um a root element you get it your container is supposed to be directly inside of your body does that make sense but because I think we already made some erroneous, you know, HTML styling initially. So that's why it's behaving like that. But remember that you should always never nest your container inside of any other um, element. Your container is supposed to be directly inside of your body. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, always put your... And then next to your container should be a row. You get it. So that's how bootstrap is meant to work. You are not supposed to. So once you have your body, then your this is the correct use of the container. Your body, then whatever will be your container should be next to your body, like this. So here we have container nested in something else. Can you see that nested rather? So that's then when we collapse it like this, we get we get a very big problem in our UI, which is something like this. You see things going outside of the screen. It is because the container is not inside of the body. Does that make sense? Instead, it is inside another awesome. element. So I think um, we've been able to complete that, and you see, it was pretty much fast. If we we're going to be using ordinary CSS to do this, it might have taken a longer period of time. Isn't that true? Hello. Hello. So you could also use Bootstrap to get rid of things like this. Um, what's it called? This underline and so on. You could there are no limits to what you can do so let me just come down here and let's let's see how that works quickly so let's do a class and i think we can do text decoration maybe if that's something i'm not sure okay you can see it got rid of that right so you could do class text decoration and Bootstrap is so nice that you can easily just, if you are familiar with it, you can easily just write out because I didn't even know text decoration none is something, but based on how they spell their class names, you can easily guess what it will be when you are very conversant with it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So in that light, are there any questions before we end the class for today? Adie? Eh? So please, can you check if the video, uh, the recording, so is the recording? Yeah, it's recording. I will just have to upload it at my own.